Hello, my name is Gary Tibbetts, owner of Quantum Harvest. This is the latest uh, addition to our lineup. This is the uh, Sun Tracker 6 panel. This is currently the largest model we build. i give you a demonstration on how to set it up. So, as you can see, set it up to begin with. It's dropped off the, tr the truck, it's slightly nose up. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the rear stabilizer straight out. Lock them, and then we're going to bring them over here to the side and lock them at the top. Okay, now that the outriggers have been deployed, now we can go ahead and raise it up. Now, this is in the transport position here. There's a, there's a folding holder here that supports the thing when it's in transport. Ordinarily, there'd be a strap around this, but you'd have, obviously have to take that off. So at this point, you can go ahead and start it up. Turn the main switch on. It's going to go through its uh, checks and whatnot. Just follow the prompts on the screen here, and when it's ready, it'll tell you. So it just says uh, move joystick in any position to raise the array, so that's all you're going to do, just flip it in any direction. And once it clears the rack here, just pull that rack down. It takes a minute or so for that to raise up. There's a latch pin here that holds your panels. There's a spring-loaded latch at the top. Just pull that string down, let it latch. Drop the pin in. That's it. And it says uh, unfold and lock the array, and then press that in any position here to resume. So that's all you're going to do. Hit it once. At this point on, it's all automatic. It's going to go back to an angle, and then it's going to home the array so the computer knows where it is and then it's going to find the sun. Go to work. At this point the only thing you have left to do is just uh, wait till it gets done its business there and then plug your system in there and that's it. And it this homing mechanism, this homing process only has to do it once. Every time you set it up, once it's done once, unless you fold the thing up and move it again, you don't have to do it again. You can, you can speed that up if you want, but I, I find that speed to be about right. That way, you, if somebody's accidentally standing there, it's not going to clock them on the head too hard. It's going to give you more of a gentle push. If you 
you're standing here, you can it'll show its progress here on the screen. As I said, it turns fully clockwise and then fully counterclockwise, and then it returns back to wherever the sun was the brightest. That's basically it. It's uh, it, now it's going to sit there and it's going to so it's pointed on almost due west here. It's late in the afternoon, so uh, when it comes dark, it's going to fold itself up. It's going it's to not going to fold itself. It's going to pick itself up and turn around and face the east and just wait for morning. And that's basically it.